right, Jason, Pete, Hollis Farms this morning. We are loaded up, headed over to Mississippi. A couple things we're gonna do on the tractor and check on the loggers and then we have got to get back to Alabama. We got a few things we gotta do there. We're doing a little bit of riding today, back and over here and back. I know I'm gonna do a little bit of tractor work, not a lot. I don't want to come down here and feel like I hadn't done anything, but I mean, it's going to kind of be about an everyday thing, checking on these loggers and seeing the progress on that, but anyway, we stopped at the store and got us one of these sausage biscuits. Man, I tell you, that thing right there is about as good as you can get. It is good. Pete's trying to wait on his. All right, we'll be back. Come on, Pete. Come on, Pete. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, Pete. Come on, let's get in the tractor. Come on. Come on, go ahead and mark everything. Come on. Come on. Pete. All right, I see some fresh tracks in the road. I hear the... Sound like the cutter or the loader or something going on down there, but we're gonna run up this other way and cut a couple of roads out real quick, and then we'll go check on the loggers. It's it may be too wet to uh, cut where I want to cut. It's a got a little bit more rain here in Mississippi than we got in Alabama, but I think the rain is gone for a few days. It didn't hurt a thing. We we was about do a little rain especially the sale of the dust and all. I know it'll make it a little easier on these loggers if it ain't too wet and making a mess, but I don't think they'll make a mess. too wet to be doing what I'm doing. These little trails and roads are in good shape and don't want to rut them up. I'm not rutting them up much, but it rained a lot more down here than it did in Alabama. We're going to knock around and try to do a little bit anyway. Alright, this what I'm cutting now is some fire lanes that we made. Different age class timber, so if we happen to be burning over here, we won't want it to jump here. We'll just have to disc down through here a little bit or either plant it in green the year we know we're going to burn it. But them turkeys this spring was liking using these fire lanes, so probably just make some of it's a little wide, but probably just make one pass around all of them. Give them turkeys and deer somewhere to walk. Down this road right here is where my buddy killed that turkey from Florida. That morning he was sitting right down there. Turkeys come walking down this road. Gotta keep these roads clear for them. Alright y'all, we got quite a few roads done. A lot of it, I think the rest of it that I'd like to work on is just a little bit too wet. Tried to cut right there around the barn and it's just too wet right there. So I'm gonna head down here and check on these loggers. I know they're probably making just a little bit of a mess, which they can fix that back, but I don't want to make no more mess than I gotta make because I'm gonna have to fix it. Before it's over with, I'll probably bring the uh, 
5065 and the grader down here. We got a grader down here, but I'll probably bring that one. I like to use it. The more they travel, the more the roads gonna kind of sink on both sides. It will be real easy to grade, just like we've done in Alabama, but I'm not gonna get into that just yet. I'll probably wait as they move spots, we'll grade behind them then. It's a little wet down here, but they're working this ridge right now and trying to give some of it a little more time to dry out. They just got to get it. I think the biggest problem they have, and they've got a bunch of timber down, and years ago from the previous owner, previous cuttings, it, uh, some of it got rutted up, and they're, they're trying to stay out of those ruts and let it dry up a little bit more before they skid a lot of it out, but... They are not hurting it too bad. We gotta do a little road grading right here anyway, and where they're loading up, loading and all that, it'll clean up pretty easy, so. Just gonna run out of time if we don't keep working. We're not gonna make ba a bad mess, but I think they're gonna be all right. Watch them load this truck real quick. Some big old trees are getting. Take too many of them to get a load. coming out of there now uh, we are going to run up on the other end of the property and see if these other guys are able to work today if these are right here they really should be up there so we're gonna see what's going on up there looks like it got a little muddy up here I'm gonna ride up here and see how bad it is they've been blading it off with the dozer it looks like feels pretty hard They rolling. Looks like they got the fuel tank hooked up to the dozer. Backing it up, trying to fuel everything up. A little wet, but it's not making too bad a mess. Making progress. So ground's just a little slick on top. They just kind of bladed the top off. Got out and talked to that guy that's been doing the thinning up here. I've told y'all before, but boy, that is a super, super nice guy. Um, yesterday, all they did was hauled a couple of loads and then they had to work on the cutter a little bit and they just now finna start trying to skid a little bit. They being careful and taking care of everything. And loading them up over here. I 
night y'all the loggers are doing good it's just a little bit wet down there and they're kind of picking around and and uh not making a mess taking the dozer and kind of blading around and they're gonna fix anything that's a little messed up before they leave i know they will it's some super guys both crews or all three crews are doing really really good so i don't think there's much rain in the forecast for a little while so the way this ground is down here this time of year it starts getting back up to 90 with this sunshine and all it'll dry up and life will be dusty before the day's over so progress being made i'm excited about all this timber cutting and the managing part of it and getting everything in shape and working on that core in this place over in mississippi and getting the briars and the brows and the bedding areas and all that worked out i think it's gonna the next three to five years i think it will be very very nice it's already good but i we're always striving to make it better and i think that this this timber part of it's a big big part of it so me and pete's got to head back to alabama we got a few things oh, we gotta oh. do there Got a flat on this car. We gotta find. Go tell him what she ran over. These tires ain't got about 2,000 miles on them. She drives around about like I do my race car. Tiny little hole right there. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Got to spray some stuff. Well, I'm gonna get on camera today, so she's gonna film. center. We got her done. Alright, got the tire fixed. Got us a load of feed now. I gotta run over here and get Pete. I got him put up for a little bit while I was doing some other stuff. Get this feed put out. Alright y'all, we're catching up on a little burning. Alright y'all, so here's what's going on now. I'm headed over to the speed shop. And our daughter's got this Jeep. And they claim something's messing up on it. I hadn't seen it yet, but I'm driving it to the speed shop and see if I can make it mess up. You never know. We'll see what happens. All right, y'all. Been about 20 miles or so. Stopped and got me a drink, ate me some pork skins. I hadn't seen anything wrong with the Jeep yet. I don't know if it's something I'm missing. You know how when you're used to driving something every day, you notice every little thing, and I ain't been in this thing in forever, so I don't know. Maybe I got in it and driving it, and I fixed it just sitting in it, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, y'all, so we left the speed shop, headed back to the house. Didn't do just a whole lot over there today. Checked the front end, make sure everything was right on it. 
pretty much done went over everything. About all we like is checking the battery, I mean charging the battery and putting a little fuel in it and loading up. We gotta decide where we're gonna go. Uh, pretty nice, been a long time since we've kind of just been able to maintenance it and get it ready for the next week, kind of needed that. But anyway, I got back in the Jeep and I wasn't paying any attention. I was leaving the driveway from over at the speed shop and it did something. I don't quite know how to explain it. it was, so there is something going on. I mean, it was quick, fast, in a hurry. It was like a, all of a sudden there was a little scrubbing noise and then it was over with. And she said it usually happens as soon as she gets in it to leave the house. So there's something there. I just, it ain't happened to me enough to put my finger on it. And it's kind of one of them deals. It's may take them a while to find it in the shop my buddy that works on them so we're probably gonna have to hot lap this jeep a few more times and see if we can kind of get an idea of what it is it sure makes it a lot easier on a mechanic when you carry it and may be able to tell them a little bit of what it might be i don't know it's just this is a little different so but she said it got to doing it pretty regular as soon as she got in it and then it wouldn't do it no more the rest of the day and that's it didn't do it as soon as I got it in it today, but it did do it after I parked and got back in it. So we'll just have to hot lap her a few more times and see if we can find it. Anyway, I'm about ready to call it a day. If y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers, hollisfarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.